welcome back to the studio after taking a match uh, off of Warlords of the Deep. Putting that series to a third match. And that's the first loss Ooh. Warlords of the Deep has had this tournament so far. Uh, yeah. Maybe they are mortal after all. They, uh, they wanted to get their loss uh, out of the on, way now. Out of the <laughs> way. Yes, this is a good time I mean, to have your first loss as yeah. long as you don't follow it up with another. Wait, so, so last Alliance tournament, they didn't lose a ship all the way until the finals. No, no, they died. They, they, they lost their uh, flagship to PL yeah. in the uh, yes. match, in the series, like when they knocked PL yeah. down. They didn't the lose fight. a ship they've to lost, anyone other than Pandemic They lost yes. some other ships, I think, along yeah. the no, way. No, I, 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 they, well, the, in any case, they flew These really kind of well. stories yes. tend to inflate. Just it's make like, oh, some inaccurate yeah. guesses at what <laughs> yes. happened last time. Well, None of us were there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, a strong showing, and, and you mentioned it, like we, we, I've seen some people talk about it in chat here, that those are, uh, the, both Thingy and, and Warlords trained together a lot and so on. Yep. So, so it, it, it's not unsurprising if they went like, all right, so let's, let's, uh, let's go and bring these setups and let's have an honorable fight and just rely on skill. Yeah, I and mean, both of these are two teams with a lot of piloting skill. And yep. uh, uh, Warlords of Deep giving themselves a one-point handicap every time just to <laughs> give them a cocky Actually, edge. Actually, the handicap, I think, was on the uh, switch nope. side, does it? No, well, maybe, yeah. So, yep. I mean... It's, it's fine. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Also, yeah, like you said, as long as they play to win, then, then that's, that's fine by about. us. Um, that was a really interesting match because Thingy just outplayed and out-executed Hydra. Or or yep. less of the deep. I mean, and that's not an easy thing. It wasn't do. something where Hydra made some kind of big mistake. No. It yeah. was a lot of back and forth. Actually, both of these two matches rely very, very heavily on the positioning of the frigates. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's these frigates dancing in and out of each other's range. The damp war between frigates, what will happen is you try yeah. to get the first lock. Whoever gets the first lock gets the damps on first. The other guy can't target him. You then move out of range of the other guy's lock range, even with uh, no damps on him. Yeah. And then you try to rush in and damp him before he sees that you've rushed in and damped you back. And it's just like going. <laughs> Back and, and so you'll see it when we have the zoomed out view. The two frigates will often either be like kind of moving full speed away from each other or yeah. full speed towards each other. And it's like a game of chicken where they're actually like staying 100 kilometers apart from each other the whole time, just like yeah. back and forth. Um, so it's actually really cool to see. And also, uh, like I said, murder on your cap. So uh, yeah, you have to yeah, keep yeah. a very close eye on so that. So suddenly you, you, you end up engaging and you have no cap. But yeah. it's ult isn't it ultimately at some point a feudal rat race when it's just uh, if I can damp their other mollusks, their mollusks won't be able to damp my mollusks. Well, you do you, that and you, then you try to swing your other And then you get your, your second damp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I just like the I like the idea that like someone becomes so focused on that yeah, that they would actually not damp anything other than the opposing mollus and two mollus just like have a separate alternative match yeah. just to see who could damp the other person out. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna jump to Twitter here for a little bit because we, we've been getting some really interesting and fun tweets to the Neo2 hashtag uh, on Twitter. If you have any questions, comments, or, or anything else that you would like to say, let us know there. And if we like it, we might read it out on air. Um, Bam Stroker puts in here, uh, another awesome weekend of the Neo 2 drawing to a close. Worth pulling the all-nighters for. Also, have doubled my EVE bet wallet. So, Bam Stroker living in Australia, um, it's like 6 a.m. for him right now. Um, it's also the future there, I think. Yes. So, he knows the results of the matches <laughs> long before the betting closes. So... Um, CCP lap, CCP's lapdoc tweets, uh, today I learned, don't trust the commentator's predictions when they're united, apparently. So that's, that's actually true. Our, our accuracy levels kind of drop once we all agree. It's, so it's yeah. actually happened for many tournaments called the commentator curse. Yeah. If all three commentators pick one team to win, there's almost no chance that they'll win. Mm -hmm. Then River Deg uh, tweets, that is the first time I can recall anyone ever out-executing and out-flying Hydra Reloaded. Wow, nice fight thingy. So... That's, that's, that's what he thought of the fight. Yeah. And then I have a, a, a fun one here from Fuzzy Steve. It says, a new game for the Neo2 commentators, uh, word bans for commentators. So that would actually be hilarious. It would uh, be. Is, is it, isn't my classic word ban, yeah, no? <laughs> yeah, no is the uh, is Also, the I, I believe, I believe uh, CCP Katka tweeted that you need to say absolutely more often or something. Uh, I'll try and get we on use that. absolutely a lot. We use yeah. uh, we don't really use massive as much when we don't have Shadoo around. How how often is something worth noting? A lot. <laughs> yeah, it is worth we've, noting. We've how much done I say this a really long noting. time yes. with the same people. We now understand exactly <laughs> what all of our verbal ticks are. <laughs> so let's go on to the bands for this match. Uh, for, for this next match between We Hurt and uh, Cold Blast Inside. It up. I'm I'm putting on a hat before I'm reading the bands. Are we going to go back in time so. to when there were uh, train conductors? Because clearly no train, train conductors anymore. You're just making a Somebody's a little bit butthurt. That's fine. Of you. So, so um, 
we hurt versus Kolbaz inside. Uh, we hurt banned the Slepnir, like they've done in all three matches, and then they banned the Typhoon Fleet issue, unsurprisingly. Kolbaz inside banned the Ishtar, like they've done in all matches, but then they switched it up to the Dominics. So there yeah. are the Gila is open. And okay, I really want to see Vindicators from Colbert's side. <laughs> yes, be like, just be like... Yeah, man, Vindicators, that was actually our best sub. You've been banning it two matches in a row. We'll just bring it and crush you. Like, I mean, it's, it's very possible. possible. They might just bring the uh, that same uh, uh, Dominic's Navy issue set up and just swap in a Vindicator and downgrade something else. Yeah. Make just, for, just for the flourish. <laughs> We'll have to see. I mean, it is obviously, uh, this blocks out the setups they've been using so far, but it doesn't block out um, all of their other setups. Uh, we've yeah. seen uh, both these teams uh, use some completely other outside-the-box things. We saw the, uh, the what was it, Golem setup? The, yeah, the uh, Var or, yes. or Golem or Varger, one of the uh, Marauders from We Hurt. Uh, we've seen the, Marger, we've seen the Navy Dommy uh, damage setup out of uh, the Kobez and Side guys. So yep. it'll be interesting to see what they switch to, whether it's something we've seen before or something completely something new. Completely they I think I think you. This is the point where you're in a one-one series. If you drop mm -hmm. down to the losers bracket, you're gonna have a long, hard yeah. road to the finals. If you win this, you're guaranteed third place. Yep. It's, you it's bring a huge out match your good. Absolutely. You bring huge. out best setups. Actually, now that I think about it, when it comes to the setups that aren't banned out that both these teams have brought before, there's just one of them for each team. Yep. It's the uh, Varger setup from We Hurt and the Navy Donny Double Navy Brudix setup from uh, Kobez Inside. Yep. Of, in that matchup, the Navy Dummy Double Navy Brutix setup would win. So I don't think we'll see that that oh. same uh, Varger setup out yeah. of We Hurt because they'll also, know that they just can't beat that. Thing. Also, bringing yeah. Vargers against Kolbaz inside is like they uh, understand every <laughs> inch of Vargers. <laughs> yeah. it's like they actually the Kolbaz and team is actually made up. All the pilots are actually Vargers yeah. in real life. <laughs> they just, yeah, they they know the exact weakness. There's actually like a spot where the shields are weak. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. Tried, There's an exhaust port. They have to yeah. fire some photon torpedoes down. So. This is uh, this is a really hyped up match. Do we do we know how much has been bet on this match? Uh, um, on, as of uh, right bet? now, I'm seeing twenty four billion esque. Uh, twenty four billion esque. Yeah, that's uh, up to no up to thirty six now. Thirty six billion esque since I last refreshed. Wow, that's pretty. Fairly even odds too. That hype train. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. This I this mean, is a huge match, and obviously, <laughs> like we've been seeing from Twitter, from Twitch chat. The We Hurt guys are the biggest fan favorites, I think, uh, in their tournament at this point. Everyone loves them, except for CSP Dolan. You know what just happened? The glasses just turned red. They did. And you know what that means? The match is ready. It means you changed the light under the table. Yes, but the match is ready. Oh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. whew, predictions, CSP Fozzie. <sighs> toot toot! Ah, I like that. I'm going to have to go with Colbass inside. The Vargers are going to take it. <laughs> Well, it's no surprise. I'm going to go with We Hurt here. On the hype train. All aboard! Woo!